If you ask someone what they know about film in Baltimore, invariably the first words out of their mouth will be John Waters, or maybe Barry Levinson, or Homicide, or The Wire. These shows, these writers, these films, they're fantastic, critically acclaimed, I'm a fan myself. But I've been wondering for years now, where is my Baltimore in film? I don't mean films that use Baltimore as a backdrop like Sleepless in Seattle, and I certainly don't mean films that use Baltimore as the poor man's Washington DC, like Enemy of the State or the latest Die Hard movie. I mean a film about Baltimore, a true Baltimore tale. How can there not have been a well-known, well-made movie about all the incredibly interesting and talented people that live here? Not the famous dead people, we have plenty of those. I mean the people that live here, right now. The artists, the poets, the musicians, the bartenders. Seriously, if you live here, you know this stuff writes itself. Why hasn't there been a film made that showcases the talent and the drama that takes place every day in the side streets and bar rooms and bedrooms of present day Baltimore? You know what? Screw it. I'll make it myself. Charm City teaser take 11, take, ah, I'm um, fucked that up. <laughs> Charm City teaser scene four, take 11. Okay, let me get this straight. Physically, you're attracted to the Italian guy, but you think he's kind of a jerk? Yes, but I'm starting to rethink that. She hates me. Do you know that? Anthony. What? Don't be such a pussy. But you haven't slept with him yet. Right. But you want to? Yes, definitely. Um, from the neck down anyway. My what? <laughs> your, your bra and your panties, they, they didn't match. Your underwear didn't match. So? Every guy knows that if a girl wears matching underwear, it's kind of like a green light, like as if she had it planned or something like that. Really? All guys know this? Well, yeah. Did you, did you read this in Maxim or something? <laughs> oh, I hate that magazine. Yes, all guys know this. It's, it's a fact. You learn this in grade school. Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, I... Do you honestly think that your fuck buddy is going to support you through this? I think that my boyfriend is going to be a part of this family. You know, I didn't come here for you to fix this. I came here for your support. Well, what about the dweeby guy? He's not dweeby. Who said he's dweeby? Okay, um, the less macho guy. Hmm. You're more into him? Definitely. But you haven't slept with him yet? No, not even close. But you want to? Yeah, pretty sure. From the neck up? Exactly. I haven't even had a cigarette or a beer since I figured out I was late. I guess you've been too busy with your other charity cases to notice. Mm, that explains it. What explains what? You quitting smoking explains why you're being such a bitch. I'm being such a bitch because I'm fucking pregnant and you're being a cunt! This is your apartment! He always compliments me. He always picks up the check. He always picks up the check and he hasn't made a move yet? He's a gentle man, David. But he's still a man, Jeannie. So? So? No, he's not gay. He is pretty gay. He's not gay, David. Back off. I'm telling you, he's straight. I so sew spaghetti until you cook it. Well, I'm not letting him anywhere near your kitchen. Tell the whole damn world We've got God on our side And still all they know